The size of objects found in space is a feature that both scientists and the public at large find astonishing. There is a ton of space and room for a huge variety of things, and it appears that nature is determined to fill that area. As an example one of the largest objects ever discovered is the Alcyonius Galaxy. Alcyonius has been identified as the largest radio galaxy yet found, and is named after one of the opponents of Hercules, in Greek mythology. If you're wondering what that implies, radio galaxy denotes that the galaxy's center has a supermassive black hole. As matter falls into the black hole it produces and releases an energy in the form of two radio jets from opposite sides of the galaxy's center. A second name for it is an active galactic nucleus. The total projected linear length of radio galaxies is greater than or equivalent to 2.3 million light years. Astronomers research radio galaxies to uncover information on the genesis and evolution of radio sources. They are uncommon objects produced in low-density environments. It is remarkable that a recently discovered galaxy was photographed with two plasma plumes. This is due to the fact that these enormous objects generated by a single galaxy have never been seen by scientists. Researchers have discovered that some galaxies have a sphere of effect that extends far beyond their immediate surroundings. The Alcyonius galaxy is really how big? Be mindful of how measurements of space objects, such as this galaxy, operate. Astronomers can only take astronomical pictures from a single perspective or viewpoint which is from the Earth. This means they can only measure the length of a galaxy. When it comes to Alcyonius, scientists frequently measure a low estimate of the overall length, which is still absurd. Its length of more than 16 million light years, which is equal to lining up 100 of our own Milky Way galaxies, is remarkable. Only 10 of the approximately 1,000 radio galaxies discovered by scientists have a length more than 10 million light years. Analysis led to the discovery of Alcyonius. The second information obtained from a 2-meter deep sky scan. By removing angular compact sources and imaging at 60 and 90 resolutions, the team reprocessed the LOT DR2. They can explore a new sensitivity range for radio galaxy lobes, with the help of the images that are produced. They offer intriguing information for the hunt for undiscovered radio galaxies with large angular sizes. Alcyonius is close to the Earth in terms of interstellar distances. Only 3 billion light years separate it from us. According to astronomers, the enormous galaxy occupies a space in the Earth's sky that is comparable to the area occupied by the Moon. The discovery of Alcyonius delighted scientists since its plumes provide information for some of the cosmos's most intricately structured filaments. The term, cosmic web, refers to the modern, adult universe, which truly resembles a network of threads and nodes, referred to as filaments and clusters, respectively. Many planets in our solar system have more than one moon. Mars has two moons, Jupiter has 67, Saturn 62, Uranus 27, Neptune 14. Neither Mercury or Venus have any moons at all. These numbers keep changing though. Any person having expertise in high school geography can witness other planets like Jupiter and Neptune having multiple moons. More than 150 asteroids are known to have a small companion moon. Asteroids with moons are typically formed when one asteroid collides with another. It's interesting to note that Electra was first detected as an asteroid in the 19th century, not recently. The second moon was found in 2014. 130 Electra or Electra for short also showed scientists how to find other faint hard to find moons. 130 Electra is a large outer main belt asteroid and quadruple system with three minor planet moons. Its status as the general commander of an army composed of three moons was just recently proven. A 160 kilometer long asteroid was found. In the asteroid its first moon was found centuries later in 2003. The moon is difficult to see when it is linked to asteroids because asteroids are small and have weak illumination. 
the parent asteroid will likely outshine anything smaller and fainter placed next to it since the child asteroid will be dimmer and at the best of types. This means that smaller moons or those that are closer to their home planet will be harder to view. Exoplanets are also hard to find for similar reasons. While they orbit their anchor stars the first moon is just 6 kilometers in length and orbits Electra at 1 300 kilometers. Galaxies approach and interact with each other they may collide and eventually merge. As the galaxies approach the tug of gravity creates tides that distort their shapes. Stars and gas stream into new orbits sometimes they're completely ejected trailing into the depths of intergalactic space. Gas clouds compressed in a chaos light up with intense rounds of star formation because stars create most of the chemical elements. Such episodes have a profound effect on a galaxy's chemical makeup. This infrared image of the entire sky shows half a billion stars. Most are in our galaxy, some are not, these are companion galaxies that orbit our Milky Way. <laughs>